say, I'm rather annoyed. I've just finished reading a Sherdog article about uh, the strike force event this weekend. Uh, for me it's already been sort of ruined by the fact that uh, Jake Shields has been forced to withdraw. But now um, it appears that uh, a, a, another dragon has raised its head. Um, we've had problems with this guy before. Uh, his name is uh, Armando Garcia, I believe. He is uh, the person who always speaks for the uh, Californian State uh, Athletics Commission, which sanctions all the um, athletics that goes on. And he doesn't seem to like uh, mixed martial arts, to be totally honest. That's the impression I get, because uh, he seems to um, almost pick uh, upon uh, athletes. Um, I I'll give you uh, a uh, reminder. Um, Sean Shirk, last year. Um, but this, this time I think it's quite personal. Um, as we know, uh, Nick Diaz has had a history of um, using uh, marijuana. He was caught out by the Nevada uh, State Athletic Commission and he was, um, an amazing win was overturned and he was suspended for some time. Now I can't help thinking that uh, because of this he has now got a stigma that the uh, California regime is not going to let go of. Um, they claim that he did not hand in paperwork um, to do with his medical uh, records. Um, the reason why this is important is because although he said at the time of the Nevada um, uh, affair that uh, he didn't do this drug very often, um, in California it's legal under um, a certain act that you can actually have it prescribed for you for certain things. Obviously he's been to the doctor, he's been um, uh, looked at and the doctors have agreed that he is uh, able to um, have this drug uh, legally. And that is a case for the doctors. If the doctors have sanctioned that, then that is the way it goes. Um, if he wasn't uh, in need of it, they wouldn't give it to him. Um, now, Shaw, who runs the Strike Force event, is saying something very, very different. He is saying that um, that it has nothing to do with the fact that there were late, um, uh, late uh, papers going in with the medical records. In fact, he denies that happened at all. Um, one of them is lying, quite honestly, and I'm tempted to think that it's uh, Garcia for the fact that his name just keeps coming up. Um, you know, and now I think having ruined Sean Shirk's career, um, at least as far as a lot of the fans are concerned, um, he's now thinking, oh well this guy was, you know, uh, picked up by another state athletic commission for doing the same drug, you know, I'm just going to not, you know. And I mean the thing is that in, in that state it hasn't been very long um, that, uh, that the ban on mixed martial arts completely was lifted. Um, now I can't help, in fact, that's so recent, uh, it's within my time of, of being a fan. I've only been a fan for three years now. So, um, I can't help thinking that, uh, that if these medical records were late, it is partly because the, 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 the state just do not think of it, the MMA, you know, the, the competition, as being particularly important. So, you know, never mind about the fact that there are people's careers here. This is what upsets me. What you don't understand now is that not only has this person, you know, put a lot of work to train for something, um, so he's put a lot of work into the gym, um, he's got himself ready to fight in front of a lot of people, um, he's now not going to have, he's, he's having that all taken away, he may as well not have trained in the first place, wasted his time, um, he's got all excited for no good reason, uh, and uh, he won't get paid. Now, Tell me what he is supposed to live on, because it does my head in that um, I think these decisions are taken, you know, with with fi you know finite judgment, strict, you know, on the ball, and they don't actually give consideration to the fact that there's a person trying to live an occupation here, 
who in the last two years, you know, has, has seemingly been penalised quite a lot. Um, and I don't like it. So there's another um, bout crossed off the card this weekend. Um, it's now not really worth watching uh, Strike Force um, because all the good bouts, all the reasonable bouts starring people that are, you know, at least from my point of view, uh, worth watching have been, you know, removed. Um, I'm not a fan of Armando Garcia now, and uh, you know I do hope that this this ends up being entrapment and that they end up having to open open a legal case about this because I think it's yeah I think it's about time that that sort of thing you know um, came about. We we all know that um, Sean Shirk apparently said he could prove his innocence. Um, now in a civil case this it doesn't matter because all uh, Garcia needs is a working hypothesis and with a, um, a positive result it's not hard to do that. Um, but the point is if it went to a criminal trial would the uh, um, uh, CSAC be uh, um, okay or would they actually be forced to swallow their words? Um, I personally hope that Shaw and, and Diaz take them to the cleaners, I really do. Um, and I hope that uh, people start being, you know, wary perhaps about putting on events in California if they're going to mess people around. Um, you know, I, I certainly think that there are now a couple of people who wouldn't particularly want to fight in that state again. And that's a, that's a sad, sad um, testimony to uh, people like Armando Garcia, in my, my opinion. And uh, now I've had my rant. Um, I'm feeling much better. Thank you very much.